What's up you guys, welcome back. Today I am super excited because we're gonna be doing my Amazon favorites for this month. Y'all know I love Amazon and it's about to be springtime. I have some really cute like spring fashion favorites, some great beauty stuff, and then just some like lifestyle, like everyday items that I have been absolutely loving. Everything is super affordable and we're just gonna sit down, chill, chat, and talk about our Amazon faves. I would love if you guys let me know your favorite products from Amazon down below in the comments. You guys have sent me so many amazing things in the past, so keep them coming. I wanna hear what y'all love so I can try it out too. But as always, I will have direct links to all the favorites that we talk about today down below in the description box. You guys can shop there. I will also put a link to my Amazon storefront where I have my favorites across all of these videos that I've done in the past where you guys can shop everything in one place. So I will link that all down below. Without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, up first, I always like to talk about like the stuff that I'm wearing or top of mind because sometimes I forget about that if I just like jump into filming. So I want to talk about my lashes. I wore these in my Sephora VIB um, haul slash recommendations video and I never got so many comments about my lashes in my life. So I ordered these from Amazon. They were $5 and I want to see how they work because so many people in the comments were saying that they looked like lash extensions. They're newer from Kiss, I believe. They're the Kiss Lux Extensions in the style Royal Silk. I grabbed the little box they came in so I could remember what they were for you guys, but I have them on again today. They really are very pretty. I've been wearing much lighter lashes recently, so they are a bit thicker than what I wear normally, but if you want like a full glam kind of slay or you like a thick lash, you're gonna love these and for five bucks. They're really nice. This is my second time wearing them. They were easy to clean and I feel like you can get a lot of uses out of them. And I do feel like they look like the voluminous, like thicker lash extensions. So if you like lash extensions, but you don't like the upkeep or the price or the damage, honestly, you might really like these. So wanted to talk to you guys about that. In that video too, I also got a ton of comments about my shirt slash dress that I was wearing. It was a dress. I can pop a little picture of it right here because it's in the wash. I just filmed that video a couple days ago, but that was also from Amazon and super affordable. So I will link it down below as well because I got a lot of questions on like, what are you wearing? What is on your eyes? All this sort of stuff in that video. Also on my lips right now is the NYX Fat Oil. I love this. I'm using natural daylight to film today, so I'm sorry if it's like the lighting is changing a lot. The sun is going in and out of the clouds, but this NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip, this is in the shade Supermodel. It's the like bright pink one. I have been nonstop using this. It's so good. It's kind of like a hybrid, I would say, in between a lip gloss and a lip oil. It's really, really nice, juicy, and hydrating to the lips. I looked high and low for this at the drugstores because it went super viral on TikTok. Couldn't find it. This was like a month and a half ago or so. Of course, went to Amazon and they had it. Came to me in like two days and it's under $10. So, so good. So this is what I have on my lips today. Love it. That is that. Now let's get into the other favorites. Okay, up first we have a curling iron. Now I saw somebody talk about this on TikTok and I immediately ordered it. I watched her video and was like, oh my gosh, I need it. So I love the Hot Tools, their curling irons. I always have, they're affordable, but they work very well. This is the 1.5 inch barrel. I have a lot of their barrels. I have the one, the 1.25, I think. And I think the two inch barrel, but I did not have the one and a half inch. And this is the perfect size curling iron barrel. If you want those like loose, 90s sort of blown out curls. A lot of times when I would do those, I would use the two inch curling iron, which is wider than this, but that really wouldn't give much of a curl to the hair because it is such a big barrel. It really just kind of gave like more of a flip to the ends where this one will give you a little bit of a curl, but they're very loose, blown out, super voluminous curls. And it looks so stinking good. I'll put a picture here of when I did my hair with this and I got so many compliments. I've been doing it nonstop with this cause I'm like, wow, this little guy really gives me beautiful curls. Like I said, I love the Hot Tools curling irons to begin with. They come in a variety of different sizes. If you want tighter curls, you want bigger curls with the 1.5 size. If you want those 90 blown out sort of waves, especially like for somebody like me, I can't like blow out my hair to get that look because my hair is straight. So I do need to use a curling iron to get that look. If you have hair with a little more body, you might be able to achieve it with just a blow dryer, but I need to use a curling iron to do so. And this one works so, so well. And now I have it in pretty much every <laughs> size and shape that they offered in, but this one has been my new fave and it was under 50 bucks. I will get it up the exact price. I wanna say it was 40 something, even better than I thought, $37. Next day on Prime, love it. This might be one of my favorite things that I have gotten on Amazon in a very, very long time. We're kind of in like a transitional period here, at least in New Jersey in the springtime. 
Some days, like literally two days ago, it was 80 something degrees. Today, it is 40 degrees and freezing. So the temperatures really fluctuate here. It's a time where like we're transitioning out of the puffer jackets that we need in like the tundra of winter, but we still need like a jacket. So I feel like sometimes the springtime more transitional jackets can be a little bit tough. I love denim jackets for that. And this one, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. These little rhinestone fringe, like I, this is the most me jacket I have ever purchased in my life. So cute. I wore it last Saturday and I got so many compliments on it. People were like, oh my gosh, your jacket is so cute. Like, is that Revolve? I'm like, no, literally Amazon. It was 30 something dollars. So cute. It's cropped, but it's not super, super short. Like it goes down right to like where your waist would start to go in and it kind of crops down like this. So it's super flattering on. Perfect over a dress. That's how I wore it. I just threw it over my dress. Kept me warm without being too hot. Really, really great. Like little transitional jacket. Even in the summer, a lot of times I will throw a denim jacket over a dress especially if I'm going somewhere at night where it does get a little bit chillier. So I absolutely love this. Okay, up next, I have a moisturizer. If you are a dry skin girly like me, y'all need this. This is from a K-beauty brand called Landbell. They have it on Amazon. The seller is Credit Think. They have like a bunch of different K-beauty brands underneath them, but they sent this out to me. So I wanna thank them for partnering with me on this section of today's video. But this is going to give you the most moisturized, hydrated skin. It's very thick. At first time when I used it, I was like, hmm, because it's literally like a balm, like a thick consistency moisturizer, but it blends into the skin like butter. And it's just so insanely hydrating. Like you can see, it doesn't leave like this, like white cast or anything on your skin. It literally is just so hydrating. It's gonna help to protect your skin barrier and is not hopefully not, at least for me, did not make me break out because that's my biggest concern is that I have very dry skin, but also very acne prone skin. So some of the thicker moisturizers can definitely cause me to break out if they have like lots of different oils or are just too heavy on my skin. So I always have to be aware, but I've been using this for the past month and it really hydrates the skin incredibly. It does say on here, 72 hour moisturization cream. I'll cleanse my skin and then go in with this. They do have a serum actually as well too, which is really nice, which you can use actually in between the cleanser and the moisturizer. This is their ultra Ultra lifting EGF ampule. This will help with your skin's texture, fine lines and wrinkles, but this actually will give you like unreal hydration. It's like 20 bucks, well worth it. It has copper tripeptide one in it, which is great for your skin barrier. It has allantoin, which is great for soothing, plant mucin, which is also great for the skin barrier as well and repairing that and really hydrating your skin. So I can link them both down below. Okay, up next we have such a cute little jewelry piece. I love this. This would be such an amazing gift as well. Gift to yourself, gift to a friend. Um, even for Mother's Day, Mother's Day is coming up. This might be something really beautiful for your mom, if your mom likes jewelry. But I ordered this necklace, it was $14.99. So super, super affordable but it feels like very, very nice quality. And it is just an initial necklace. So you get a little rhinestone initial. So I got K and then it comes on this really pretty like snake style chain. That's like thick and very nice. I really, really love this. And it's a very cute layering piece as well. I'm gonna put it on with my necklace that I have today. It does have a pretty big extender on it too. So there's a variety of different lengths that you could make it if you are using it as a layering piece. So I just popped it on right there. I love like personalized things. That's always like my go-to for when I buy stuff for myself. I love it and I love to give it as gifts too. I feel like it shows a little extra thought, you know, just something really, really cute. Very cute piece and very nice quality. I really like it. So I wanted to include that. Okay, up next. Oh my gosh. Okay, this little kit has made such a difference in my life, it's crazy. So this is a lash and eyebrow tint kit. So I got this on Amazon, comes with everything that you need. Little mixing tray, little brush with a spoolie on one side, you get the cream activator and then you get a brown and a black dye. Now I have been dyeing my brows for years. I typically use the Just For Men's beard dye on my brows because it comes in like so many different colors because it's actually like men's beard dye for the face. I use that on my brows. This does come with a brown, so you can use that on your brows if you want to, or you can use it on your lashes. Why I really bought this set, honestly, was for the black dye for the lashes. It got really good reviews. And other ones that I had ordered in the past didn't really work that well, but this one got great reviews. So I was like, all right, let me give it a try. And then I liked that I did have the brown that I could use on my brows if I wanted, or if I just wanted to tint my lashes with a brown dye instead of a black dye, I had that option too with this. I tinted my lashes with the black dye and it made the largest difference literally ever. I'm gonna pop a picture here of like it just on my bare lashes with nothing on it. A lot of you guys recognize in some of my videos that my lashes were much darker because my lashes naturally are completely clear. If you're blessed with dark lashes, then you probably don't need this. 
Mine are super light. Like you cannot see them if I don't have mascara on them. It just looks like I don't have any. I was getting lash lifts and tints for a while, which is when they basically like perm your lashes up and then they tint them. It made my lashes look a lot nicer and pop more obviously, but I realized that I didn't really need the lash lift part. It was more so the tint is really what I liked. And like the lash lift part is the kind of the more expensive part because I was paying $150 for a lash lift and tint where this kit in total was $29 and this will last a lot of tints because you only need the smallest little amount of these dyes and products. You just mix it on here and apply it to your lashes like you would apply a mascara, let it sit for about 10 minutes. And it has made like my lashes look so much better. So if you are naturally light haired and you cannot see your lashes without mascara, but you don't wanna have to apply mascara every single day, you need to get this because it makes such a difference. I had absolutely no irritation because I'm very scared doing it myself to be completely honest with you. And I had no irritation and no problem because I do have relatively sensitive eyes. Obviously I would do a very little bit to test first and make sure that you don't have any irritation. But for me, it was very simple and worked really well. So I will use this now forever. I'm not getting the lash lifts and tints anymore because the lash lift part can definitely be super damaging and they're just expensive where this gave me basically the look that I was looking for that I could just do at home. So love, love, love this little kit. It is so good. Also speaking of at home beauty treatments, I wanted to mention this. I don't think that I've ever talked about this before or if I have, it's been years, but I have used this kit for years and years. And I was like, I don't know that I ever really talked about it, but I just had to reorder it. I swear the first kit lasted me years, um, but I just reordered a second one. This is the NADS Precision Eyebrow Wax wand. This has been around forever and in my opinion is the best of the best. If you want to wax your brows at home, which I have again been doing forever, I felt like whenever I got my brows done professionally, it never came out the way I wanted it to be. And I was just like, I just want to do it myself. But then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to buy the wax machine. And then you got to heat it up and do all that stuff. And it's just, just like a pain and seems like a lot to do where this kit is so simple. It comes with everything you need. This is the wax. It's in this little pen form, which makes it so easy to apply. You just twist this up. It comes out. You do not have to heat it up. So it doesn't require any heat. You just draw it on like as if you're using a little highlighter pen underneath your brow, just draw it on, apply wherever you want to get rid of the hairs. It comes with these little strips, place it, wax, and it works so stinking well. Um, Cause there's a lot of waxes I've tried in the past that if you don't have to heat them up, a lot of times they don't work. This one does. And then the excess wax just comes off with water. It's not hard to get off of your skin. It does come with cleansing wipes in here as well. It's very simple to use. And like I said, I've used this product for years. And if you are like good with like makeup or anything like that, like it's not difficult to do it. I think it's, it's honestly very easy. You just have to have a steady hand to like see where the little brow hairs are that you wanna wax and you can do this super quick and easy. And the kit is $8 on Amazon. And when I got it, it came the same day. Like I literally ordered it and it came that night from Amazon. So highly, highly, highly recommend. Like I said, I've used it for a very long time and should have mentioned it sooner. Okay, up next, I have this cute little shirt. So again, like I said, a transitional period here in New Jersey. So I wanted to get some like cute little springy shirts that I could wear with like jeans or something. So I grabbed this one and I love it. it has this little like detailing in the center with like a little gold sort of buckle. And it kind of looks like a bandana, like on the bottom, it has a little bit of a flare on the sleeves. It's like a lightweight, very comfy, stretchy material, very comfortable little shirt that looks cute with like a pair of oversized jeans. But you could definitely probably bring this into the summer with like a pair of jean shorts. Cause again, it is definitely a lighter material. So great for those like spring transitional days where we're not quite ready for like the tank tops or the short sleeves yet, but we want something really, really cute. I absolutely love this. You could also definitely dress it up with like a skirt or something too. put a blazer over it, make it a nice outlook. It comes in a bunch of different colors, but I just got this pretty little green color and I've been loving it. Okay. Next product. Now these are a little bit more expensive, but I love them. I wanted a pair of like nice neutral heels that were comfortable that would like last me through the seasons. So I saw these on Amazon. I was like, okay, I think these are the ones ordered them and immediately fell in love. These are from Sam Edelman. So high-end designer, you have him at like Nordstrom's and stuff like that. They were $61, I think when I ordered them. So definitely a little bit pricier than like typically I would spend. A lot of times when I buy shoes, I'm buying like the $20 ones. But with these, I felt like I could wear these with literally any outfit in the summer. Look so cute with jeans, look so cute with like dresses. They could be worn casually because they kind of have this like woven, 
sort of material, but they can definitely be dressed up as well. So I thought like, okay, you could wear these with so many different outfits, 60 bucks, if you get a lot of use out of them, is still pretty good. And so far I've already worn them so much and it's barely even warm out. So I know these are gonna be my go-to for the summer because they have such a big platform on them. They're actually quite comfortable, which is really nice because they do have a big heel, but this platform here makes it so that your foot really isn't like this, you know, in the heel and they're actually pretty comfortable, easy to walk in. The strap goes around your ankle. So it's like feels secure. I really, really love these. And I feel like they're gonna be like my shoe of the summer and my go-to option. So I wanted to show you guys these. Okay, up next, y'all know that it would not be an Amazon favorites if I wasn't sharing with you some weird type of sunglass. You know my love of the weird sunglasses. So I, got, I gotta keep it rolling with my Amazon favorites. These I know are not gonna be for everybody. I know. But I really think they're cute. Mine are filthy. I wore these to a pool party, so they are filthy. But these like futuristic kind of frameless sunglasses. Oh, I really need to clean these. Oh my goodness. I can't even believe I'm showing them on camera like this. But I mean, this is how you know I actually wear these things that I'm showing you guys. But they were literally $11 on Amazon. And they, I think they're super cute with the right sort of outfit. I wore them with like an all black. It was like a black bathing suit, little black sarong. These, they're cute, okay? I know they're not gonna be for everybody. And for me, like there's a lot of high-end designers that make similar sort of sunglasses that look like this. No way am I spending a lot of money on these because I know in like two or three years, I'm probably not gonna wear them. But if I only spent 11 bucks on them, I'm not gonna be upset about it, you know? If I only wear them for like one season, I think that they're cool. Again, I know these are not gonna be for everybody, but I personally really, really like them. And when I wore them, I got a lot of compliments from the girlies. They were like, ooh, those are cute, trendy. I'm like, $11 on Amazon, you know? Balling on a budget over here, but so, so cute. Sunglasses are like one of my favorite accessories and I love to get affordable ones because I leave them, I clearly <laughs> get them very dirty and if they break, they break. Okay, up next, these I really, really like. Now, I wear press-on nails, I would say 90% of the time. Every now and again, I will go and get my nails done professionally, do a gel mani or do the gel X nails, whether it be professionally or on my own. And we all know that we're sticking our hands into these little machines it's not good. I feel like I knew that from the beginning. I'm like, what makes this like that different from like a tanning bed? But like, I didn't really think about it all that much when I was like, you know, 15 doing this. Uh, so it's been a lot of years of doing it. When you do do that, whether it's gel or whatever, super important to put sunscreen on your hands before you go. I know a lot of times you might not remember, you get there, you don't have the sunscreen. You're like, oh my gosh, throw these in your car. Go get them on Amazon, throw them in your car. I got them for myself. I got them for my mom. Cause my mom always gets a gel mani, but I'm like, you need to be wearing these. They're UV gloves. It was $9 for them. So you basically just put them on your hands and they protect your hands in the area that would be in the UV light. Then obviously leave the room for your nail bed to be out. So your nail tech can do your nails, but your hands are protected. So honestly, if I was you, I would wear these and I would wear sunscreen. Might as well just double up because if you wouldn't put your body in a tanning bed, we really should be wearing protection when we do those too. I read like a lot of articles on it and was like, oh my goodness, okay. And I bought these like immediately, even though I really don't even put my hands in those things all that often, but definitely, definitely would recommend these. If your mom gets her nails done, might be a cute little thing to add with her mother to say gifts. Hey mom, wanna protect you. you you know, skin cancer, it's not a joke. Um, it's a really serious and scary thing. So I wanted to show you guys these because I thought that these were good. They come in like a variety of colors. There's a bunch of brands that make them, but these are just the ones I got. Again, nine bucks, throw them in your car, keep them in your purse. So you have them in case you forget. I feel like better safe than sorry. So love those. Okay, we have something a little bit off brand, I guess. Like I don't normally talk about vitamin sort of things in my Amazon favorites, but I ordered these because these were going viral on TikTok. These are the Ollie Probiotic. Um, they're actually gummies and actually I didn't take them today. So I'm gonna have two of them right now Let me tell you above anything else. These taste absolutely delicious. Take two of them per day They're just great. They literally taste like berry gummies. These are probiotic gummies for your stomach So I have a variety of stomach issues, which I'm not gonna bore you with I've tried a lot of different probiotics and a lot of them have actually made my stomach issues worse one I was recently taking I was getting really severe like stomach cramps and um, really severe pains in my stomach. And I did not think that it was a probiotic. I was literally like, no, if anything, the probiotic should be helping this. And Steven was like, just stop taking the probiotic for a couple of days and see if this stops. And then I did and it stopped. I was like, oh my gosh, it was a probiotic. So you gotta be careful because obviously everyone's like probiotics, probiotics, they're really, really good. And they are, it's important for your gut health. But whichever one I was taking was not agreeing with me at all. That was like a couple of months ago. And I recently wanted to reintroduce one in. Saw a lot of people talking about these. So I was like, all right, I ordered them. 
They taste really good. So far have not caused me pain or issues and I've been taking them for about, I wanna say almost a month now at this point. So I would think that if I was gonna get the weird pain and issues, it would have started by now, but so far they've been really good. So if you're into gut health or you've had issues with probiotics in the past, these so far have been working really, really well for me. They help with the digestion and your immune system and just like your gut health in general. So yeah, if you're looking for a new probiotic, I do really like these in the berry flavor specifically tastes delicious. Okay, we need to talk about this. I'm sure you all have seen this by now. Alex Earl like made this thing revolutionary and it is so good. I am proud to say though, I did have it before her, I did. Not trying to toot my own horn, but I, she is definitely the one that made it viral though. But I did actually purchase this pre-seeing her having it to have in my purse for when I take content. But this little light, like beyond just like being on the go and wanting a light to like take a video or a picture, it's actually so good for like literally anything. It creates such a difference. I should have really been using it honestly in this video. I'll show you and clip it onto my camera right now, turn it on and show you. Right now I'm just in natural daylighting, which is honestly the best type of light to film in. But look at the difference that this light makes. And this is in already good lighting. Imagine in like a dark room, the difference, and it's not even all the way up, but the difference that this light makes, it is very, very high powered. So you just clip this right onto your phone and then you have super great lighting. If you wanna take a picture, selfie, video, whatever, so stinking good. You charge it so you don't have to plug it in um, and it does have different settings. So you can adjust the light and then you can also adjust, like this is like a more warm toned. This one's like in between, cool toned. So there's a bunch of different like settings on it. I absolutely love it. It's well worth, I think the one I have, I don't know if it's the exact same brand that she has. Mine is something like New Nova. The, it's starting to come off on the back as I've had it for a while, but like 20 something bucks, well worth the price. And again, even if you're not a content creator, you just like to take pictures. If you're out with your friends, family, you have an event coming up or something, this is like fabulous to have and will literally make your pictures, video, anything look so much better. And like I said, so easy, just clip it. So. Love. Okay, my camera just died. It's like, girly, you are talking too much. We have one final product to show you guys. I absolutely love this. So hopefully y'all are still here because I've been blabbing on forever, but I just pulled this out of the dryer. This is like one of my new favorite dresses. It is so stinking cute on. It's a plain black dress, but it does have like a little keyhole cutout here and a little tie. I'll put a video of me wearing it, but it is so cute. It's sleeveless, perfect for summer. This is actually the dress that I wore with the denim jacket over it. So cute together, super, super flattering on. Comes in a bunch of different colors, but I, of course, just got the black one because y'all know me, but so, so cute. Very comfy and very flattering, perfect for summer. So wanted to share this as well. That is everything, you guys. Like I said, I will have all of my favorites listed down below. So check out the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.